More often than not, we would expect users to log in into our application with an ID and a password combination. The ID can be an email address, a username, or anything that is unique. But there are times users would rather prefer to log in to their accounts with any of the unique IDs and the password. That can be tricky to implement, but with Adonis.js 5, we just need to change the config detail. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to allow users to log in with multiple IDs in an Adonis.js 5 application. Here we have an Adonis.js 5 application, which simply allow users to register for an account and log in into their account. Currently, users can only log in with their email address and password combination. Let's create a user that we can use for testing this. So I'm going to create one for myself. I have created an account and I have been logged in. So as you can see, now let me log out. Now let's figure out how we can log in with either an email address or a password. Let's dive in into the code. Here yeah, I have the login method that handles a login in user. Let me quickly run through the code. First, we get the user email and password. Then we attempt to log in the user. If the login was successful, we redirect the user to the dashboard. Otherwise, we display an appropriate error message. To be able to log in with either an email address or a username, all we need to do is modify a configuration setting, specifically the auth configuration. Inside the auth configuration file, we have a UIDs key, which accepts an array of user columns that can be used to search against the user submitted details during login. So all we need to do is update the array to include whatever column on the user's table we want the user to be able to log in with. So I'm going to add the username column here. And that is basically all we need to do to allow a user to log in with either an email address or a username. Of course, this won't work yet because we need to update the login form so let's do that so instead of accepting only an email here let's make this a free text so it can accommodate a username as well as an email address then i will give this a name of say user id and let's update this as well user id let's also update the login method to reflect this instead of email this will be user id and user id now we can test this out so i'm going to try logging in with email address and password of course we can log in with an email address let's log out and try logging in with a username and now we can also log in with a username as you can see Adonis just makes the whole experience a smooth one if we were to implement this on our own it might have taken us a couple of time now that we've gotten it to work as we want let's dig a little deeper to understand how this actually works so let's head back to the code the attempt method basically undoes everything and it takes in the user ID and the password as well as some other options which we won't go into in, in this tutorial. Let's inspect the attempt method. As you can see, since Adonis.js modules doesn't include the TypeScript source code, let's head over to the GitHub repo to properly inspect the method. Inside the source directory, go into the guards directory, then specifically the session guard since that is what we are using in our case. I'm going to search for attempt and here we have the method. What the method does is first it verifies the user credentials, then log in the user if the credential matches what is in the database, and then lastly return the user. This means the bulk of the work is done by the verify credentials method. 
which you can take a look at then let's look at the implementation from the base guard and here we are first it's ensure that credentials are actually supplied otherwise it throws an exception then it looks up the user submitted id then verify the password then lastly it returns the user let's focus on the lookup using id method depending on the provider that is being used that is either lucid or the query builder it calls the method find by uid again let's go into the find by uid method and since our application is using lucid let's uh, look at the lucid implementation let's focus on the concluding part as you can see this simply loops through the uid's array from the auth config file and for each of the uid column it checks the user submitted value against it since it performs the check using or where that would mean whichever uid or column that matches the user value will be used to retrieve the user record what i'm saying in essence is that because the or where method is used whichever of the column matches the value the user supplied will be used to fetch the user record which would in turn log in the user in our case where we have an email column and a username column it will loop through both of them then whichever column matches with the user submitted details against that in the database would result into the user being logged in so that is uh, basically what is happening under the hood so that is why that was able to work and if we have another column say phone number it will work as well since it is basically looping through the ar arrays of user ids or columns as we might want to put it so that is how to allow users to log in with multiple ids in an adonis js5 application